Hi guys, today I am here to do my top 10 Christmas films. Now this has been impossible to do because there are so many Christmas films out there and I love, I just love Christmas. I love Christmas films, I love sitting down with a mug of hot chocolate, um, a big bag of crisps and just kind of getting cuddly with a blanket and just watching Christmas films. So it's been so hard to try and narrow it down to just 10 of my favourite but I've managed to do it. Um, so I'm going to show you them and these aren't in any particular order because it would just be impossible to make put them in any particular order. Um, and most of these are predominantly Christmas films but some of them are films that I just tend to associate with Christmas. So without further ado I'm going to get started. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is one that everybody has probably seen and if you haven't seen it then there is something seriously wrong with you and that is Elf. Um, I absolutely adore this film. It's got Will Ferrell in it and it tells the story of Buddy the Elf who um, is just the most fantastic character ever. He's so funny and he um, grew up in the North Pole but it turns out that he isn't quite like all the other elves so he travels to America or New York to try and find his real dad and it's kind of an elf trying to fit in with um, civilian life and it's just absolutely hilarious um, and I think this year Elf has actually been turned into a musical on in the West End I think it was in Broadway a few years ago so I'm pretty sure everyone's going to be raving about that as well so if you haven't seen this film then you definitely 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 have to see it um, there are some fantastic quotes in it um, he's like um, there's a bit where he tries to eat he's eating spaghetti and maple syrup together it's just there's so many bits of this book that I love this book? <laughs> see I've got books in the one. There's so many bits of this film that I love um, so definitely check that one out if you haven't already. The next film is Four Christmases which has got Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon, Witherspoon in it. Um, this one I really love. It's kind of a more modern, I think it came out in 2010, am I right in that? No, 2009. Um, and it tells the story of um, this couple who try to go on holiday for Christmas um, because they're kind of sick and tired of having to go to all their family because both of their parents are split up so they've got four separate families to visit around Christmas but they want decide that this year they're just going to forgo all of that and they're going to hop on a plane and go somewhere really hot and sunny for Christmas and just not have to worry about family and all that kind of stuff and stress that comes with family Christmases but when they get to the airport there's a lot of fog and they actually can't fly and it turns out that they get interviewed on TV and all their families see it and they're like oh come home if you can't fly come home um, so they go off on Christmas Day to visit each individual kind of part of the family. So her mum and then her dad and his dad and his mum. Uh, and it's just really funny because every family is just totally wacky and crazy and they've all got these weird things that are going on. And over, they kind of the couple learn a lot about each other over the course of the film and things that they didn't really know about each other. So it's really funny. Um, definitely worth watching um, if you haven't already. And because it's quite an old film, it should be quite cheap as well if you haven't already seen it. So definitely try and buy that one if you haven't seen it already. It's really, really good. The next one is, again, a film that I have watched to death. Um, I I think this was in 2006, so that's nearly that's nearly 10 years old now. God, that doesn't seem like it. Um, but it is The Holiday um, with Jude Law, Cameron Diaz, Kate Winslet and Jack Black. Um, if you haven't seen this again then I don't know where you've been, but it's a beautiful story about these two women who have kind of got some crap going on in their lives so over Christmas they decide to do a house swap where one of them they both kind of swap houses so um, Cameron Diaz goes from her big mansion in LA and goes to live in a little country cottage in England and Kate Winslet goes from her country cottage in England to live in the big mansion in LA and they bump they each find a man and it's kind of like a romantic Christmassy story about kind of learning to love again and learning to be happy and learning the true meaning of Christmas um, and again it's not predominantly Christmassy in the sense that it's kind of well it is I suppose because it's set around Christmas time but it's not kind of like a massive Christmas classic I wouldn't say but it's definitely a film I love watching around Christmas time so that is The Holiday the next one I've got is probably I don't want to say it's my favourite but I think it probably is my favourite um, it is Christmas with the Cranks this is an American Christmassy film and I think this was in yeah 2004 um, and basically it's a little bit like um, Four Christmases in a sense where the couple, their daughter has gone away for Christmas and um, they decide that because Christmas isn't going to be the same because their children aren't there, she, they're going to go away on holiday. So they decide to book a holiday like a cruise and 
they get ready to go but then they get a phone call from their daughter saying that actually she's coming home for Christmas so then there's this race against time to try and kind of reinstate all the Christmassy things because they decided that they were going to cancel Christmas um, so all of their neighbours hate them, all of their neighbours don't like them because they haven't put their Christmas lights up, they haven't got any Christmassy food in the house and um, so they go on this massive mission to try and Christmasify their house before their daughter gets back and it's just really funny watching them try and rush around the supermarkets fighting over the last turkey and trying to get their friends to help them put all the decorations up so it's a really really good Christmas film um, very funny as well and yeah I definitely recommend this one if you haven't already seen it the next one is going to be, again, a film that's not predominantly Christmassy in the sense that it's not, like, I don't think it's classed as a Christmas film, but again, it's one I love watching at Christmas time, and it is Serendipity with, what's his name, John Cusack and Kate Beckinsale. Um, and this tells the story of a, or the two main characters here, who are looking for Christmas presents on Christmas Eve, I think it is, or a couple of days before Christmas, and they reach for the same pair of gloves in the department store, and then it's kind of that meet cute moment where they meet each other and they kind of automatically they have these feelings for each other. So they go and share a hot chocolate, um, and they kind of have a chat about their lives. And he <clears throat> he kind of says to her, "Give me your number. Um, you know, I want to I want to be able to talk to you again." And she's saying she's very she believes very much in serendipity, which is like this idea that. Um, things happen because they're meant to happen um, and she says to him well if we see each other again then we'll know it's meant to be but if we don't see each other again then that's it it was never meant to be so but he kind of tries to convince her to give him do something so she writes her number on um, a banknote and um, it kind of he, she, she gives it away and then she writes inside the book um, a book on a market stall in in the time of cholera and then they never see each other again and then he constantly is looking for a book this book that she's written in and trying to find out her number and everything and it kind of follows them over a period of time and how their lives were meant to be together and how their kind of lives kind of tangled together this is a really bad description of the film um but it's just such a beautiful film um Okay, I'll read you the blurb actually because this is really nice. Um, John Cusack and Kate Beckinsale are drawn together and take a chance with love in this critically acclaimed romantic comedy. In the course of one magical evening, Jonathan and Sarah meet unexpectedly, then part when she decides they must let fate determine if they are meant to be together. Years later they are both engaged to others but cannot give up the dream that, despite time, distance and the obstacles that conspire to keep them apart, they will one day meet again. So yeah, I just absolutely love this film and I, I never had seen it before until about a couple of years ago. But I highly recommend it. It's probably one of my most favourite films of all time. So definitely, definitely watch this one. The next film is kind of like two films in one. Um, it is Nativity and Nativity 2. Um, I absolutely love the Nativity series. Um, it's just so funny and Christmassy and cute and just brilliant. I have watched Nativity 3. I watched it um, online this year. I watched it on Blinkbox because um, it came out, I think, on DVD earlier this year. And I'm not going to lie, I didn't enjoy it as much as I have enjoyed the others. I think maybe it's run out of steam a little bit and the idea has been worn out too much. But Nativity 1 is just fantastic and Nativity 2 was also really good. And it basically tells the story of this group of kids at school who are trying to put on a nativity. And they've got their teacher who is played by Martin Freeman. And then they've got Mr Poppy who is this just amazing um, teaching assistant he is just the funniest character I think I've ever seen in my life and the kids are trying to throw this nativity but people are trying to stop them and it's just this really cute festive story and it's just got everything you possibly could want in a Christmas film and the same nativity too it follows the kind of same idea of children trying to put on a show um, and the adults trying to stop them and all those kinds of things so definitely worth re watching if you haven't um, there's some really catchy songs in there as well so I love these films so much and I'm definitely going to be watching them both this year again so that is Nativity 1 and Nativity 2 the next film everybody is just going to kill me for saying this but it is Frozen um, I absolutely love this film and again it's not predominantly Christmassy but it is all about ice and there is a snowman and there's a reindeer and yeah that's that's basically Christmas to me um, I absolutely love this film I know I probably shouldn't because I am 22 years old and Frozen was made for an audience of kind of like children but I just think it's so brilliant 
Um, the songs in it are so catchy. The storyline is really beautiful as well about how love doesn't always have to be between a man and a woman. It can be between sisters and kind of how, you know, in, in a lot of Disney films, the kind of idea of true love's kiss was between a you know, prince and a princess. But this shows that, you know, love between sisters is just as strong um, as love between a man and a woman. So really, really, really love this film. And I'm definitely going to be watching it a few times over Christmas. So if you haven't already seen it, I'm sure you have. But if you haven't, then I really recommend watching Frozen. The next one is again an animated film and it, oh, I've got it the wrong way around. Um, it is Arthur Christmas. Uh, this came out in 2011, I think. Yeah, 2011. I'll just take, I, don't, I think it's, oh yeah, it's exactly the same inside. Um, and this tells the story of the little boy called Arthur who lives in the North Pole with um, Santa and his brother. And basically what happens is one year they miss out um, a present for a little girl and all of the people are like, oh, it doesn't matter. You know, she won't you know it's only one person but Arthur is determined he's like no one person has she has to believe in magical Christmas she can't be left out so he makes it his mission to try and fly around the world quickly in a couple of hours before Christmas Day dawns to try and deliver this present to this little girl um, and it's just absolutely beautiful um, really funny as well very festive um, obviously uh, just really great comedy as well um, I think I think like with Frozen as well um, even though they're predominantly made for for children or a kind of a young audience there are a lot of adult jokes in there that kind of you wouldn't get if you were a child and I'm, I'm not talking like rude jokes as such but there's things that you wouldn't pick up on as a child that you do as an adult so definitely um watch them even if you are an adult because there are things in there that are really funny that only you would pick up on rather than the child um so yeah Arthur Christmas is brilliant um the second to last one is again a film that I don't think is predominantly Christmassy but it is set around Christmas and it is Bridget Jones's Diary. I love watching this film at Christmas especially with Mark Darcy and his funny Christmas jumpers um, and the turkey curry buffet um, and then obviously the end bit where they're in the snow and she's in her pants and they're kissing and it's just so good. Um, if you haven't seen Bridget Jones's Diary then I'm not even gonna talk to you anymore because it's like a classic. Um, it's about a woman called Bridget Jones, um, um, you know, that kind of gives it away a little bit. Um, but she's on New Year's Day, she's hungover and still single, so she starts to get a grip on her life and start a diary. Um, and I, it's kind of like the course of a di her diary over a year and what happens to her, and it's just really funny and really lovely. And it definitely has got a Christmas feel to it, so watch this film if you haven't. Um, and the last one I want to show you is probably, uh, it's not really film as such but it is a TV show let me just see if I I don't even know where it is um, anyway it is um, Gavin and Stacey it is the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special I don't know if there's any pictures I don't think there's which is annoying um, but yeah I just love watching the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special at Christmas it is just so funny um, if you haven't seen Gavin and Stacey before, I highly recommend you do. It's a British sitcom that I think started in about 2010. Um, no, 2009 um, it started. Am I right in thinking that? Yeah, I think 2009. Um, and it tells the story of Gavin and Stacey who kind of start talking online and they find out that they really like each other but they live miles apart so they kind of join to, they kind of try and live together and it kind of follows their family and all these things it's got James Corden in it it's got Ruth Jones um and it's just a really funny it's got Rob Brydon in as well um just a really funny kind of British sitcom um and they did a Christmas special after series two um, which was just so funny and so festive and lovely and it's played on TV every single year um, but if you haven't watched it then I really recommend you do because it's so lovely um, but I'm definitely re-watching the Christmas special one multiple times this Christmas um, I just can't get enough of it so if you haven't watched Governor Stacey definitely definitely watch it um, it's one of my favourite sitcoms ever so highly recommend so thank you for listening to me waffle on um, probably very incoherently about um, my favourite Christmas films but I hope that's given you some ideas if you haven't watched some of these films and you're looking for some films to watch um, they're all my favourites let me know in the comments below what your favourite Christmas films are and I hope you have a really really lovely Christmas and a happy new year and I shall be back in the new year so I'll speak to you then guys have a lovely lovely Christmas bye